friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring this video. And in my last Cricut video, we went through the two different machines that I had, what they did, the differences, and all of that fun stuff. And I let you know that in my next video, I would let you guys know the materials that they cut, um, like, you know, what they cut all that stuff as far as materials. And then I'll also let you guys know my personal favorite materials to use. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely stick around, click that red subscribe button. Then you just wanna tap that bell and all, that way you're notified every single time I upload. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well, because those thumbs up and those there, because those thumbs, because those thumbs up and those shares really help my channel to grow and help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. So with all that being said, let's jump into today's video. Okay guys, so I just want to start off by saying that if you guys are ever confused on which machine cuts which material, you can always go to help.cricut.com and they have a full list and breakdown of each machine. You can choose the machine and then a drop down, a drop down menu will appear and in that menu it'll tell you all of the different materials what it cuts and all of the information that you will need to know so i did just want to start off by letting you guys know that i also wanted to just let you know how i'm going to do this video so like i said in the beginning i'm going to start off by letting you guys know the most popular materials that the cricut explore air 2 cuts and then the most popular materials that the Cricut Maker 3 cuts. And then I'll go into which materials are my personal favorite to use. And we can go from there. If I did not cover a certain material and you guys have any questions at all, please leave it in the comments down below. And I will be sure to answer those for you. So, like I said, I have my phone here because I just got, and I'm going to pop it up here on the screen. I just want to show you guys like how amazing this list is. I actually never knew that this existed until I was doing this video. So when I went to Google, I typed in something along the lines of materials that the Cricut Explore Air 2 cuts. And in that search came up this website, which is from the Cricut website. And um, like I said, it has a drop down menu. Um, you scroll down a little bit and then that is where you will see um, the option to choose which machine and then um, the materials pop up. So if I choose the Cricut Explore Air 2, it says it applies to Cricut Explore Air 2 and older, smart set dial settings, so then it'll give you the material names, the cutting pressure, um, if multi-cut is on or off, and then it also gives you blade type, and that goes for all of the materials. So I think that's really amazing because sometimes when I'm using certain materials, I'm not really sure which blade to use. So this will come in handy to show you which blade to use with which material. So looking in this list, the most popular materials are at the top. And then as you go down, you get to the least popular materials. So obviously in the beginning, there's paper, there's vinyl, there's iron on, light cardstock, cardstock, fabric, poster board. 
And then there's also custom materials, adhesive foil, adhesive foil, matte, aluminum, and the list literally goes on. So I will leave the link to this website in the description box if you guys would like to check it out. So when it comes to the Cricut Maker 3, the most popular materials are going to be your smart materials, your smart vinyl, your smart iron-on, infusible ink, and things like that. I personally love the smart materials. The smart materials make my life so much easier. I buy it in big rolls like this, especially the vinyl, because I like to make my husband signs for his business. And I also buy big rolls of the iron-on as well, because I also make all of the t-shirts and stuff like that for his business as well. So that's definitely a great option. If you have a business and you have to make things like that, the Cricut Maker 3 is definitely worth the investment. It's gonna save you on time. It's gonna save you on having to change the mat out and the material and it's just a hassle when you're trying to run a business and you have to constantly change the mats out. So I definitely, definitely recommend the Maker 3 if you have a business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all of the materials that I have sitting here. They are of my personal favorites. That's why I have them. So I'm just going to start off over here. This is the infusible ink. Now the infusible ink works the best with the Cricut blanks because you have to have a certain polyester percentage for the uh, infusible ink to adhere to the shirt or whatever your cups, um, whatever the case may be that you're using. You have to have um, certain material. So I definitely recommend to always go with the Cricut brand. Or if you don't want to go with the Cricut brand, you at least need to make sure that the polyester percentage is correct, as well as for the cups, there's a certain type of cup that you need to use. Next, we have the Smart Iron On, and this is both of this these colors, the blue and um, kind of like the pink or salmon, whatever color you like to call that. Um, this is the Smart Iron On. You do not need a mat for this, but you do have to have a Maker 3 or a Joy to use the Smart Materials. So keep that in mind. But like I said um, a minute ago, the Smart Materials are so worth it. They make your life so much easier that I would pay over and over again for the smart materials if I had to. This is just regular smart vinyl and same concept. This is permanent. Now, you also want to keep in mind that there is a difference between permanent vinyl and removable vinyl. So let's just say that you have a sign that you would like to change out. So you're gonna use removable vinyl. That way, once you get tired of that design, you can pull that up and you can cut a new one and add that on there. If you're gonna stick this outside in the weather, I definitely recommend to use the permanent because that's gonna hold up to the weather the longest. Now this, this is just a roll um, it had like a sleeve around it, but it wouldn't fit in my vinyl holder or I made it a vinyl holder, but it wouldn't fit in there. So I had to take the sleeve off, but this is removable vinyl. This is not smart material. So I do need a mat for this. Um, but I do like to use removable vinyl if I am cutting like a stencil that I'm just going to throw away once I use the stencil or um, like I said, if there's a sign that I wanna change out, I go with the removable. Moving on to the cardstock. I love using cardstock with my Cricut. I cannot cut a straight line to save my life. So using the Cricut really has saved my life so many times. It saved me time. I didn't have to go back and recut it and remeasure and all that crazy stuff. So I definitely love to use my Cricut to cut cardstock. This again is just some smart iron on which we talked about that. And then the last thing that I'm going to talk about today is the, I'm knocking stuff over. Here we go. Wouldn't be Melissa show if I didn't mess something up, right? <laughs> 
So this is the Cricut Smart Paper Sticker Cardstock. So you can use this on a number of different things. You can make labels with this. Um, the possibilities are endless. So this is smart material. Like I said, you do not need a mat for this. So keep that in mind. This only works with the Explore Air 3 and the Maker 3. But this would be perfect. Um, let's just say like you're having a little birthday party for your kids or your grandkids or whatever. And you're looking for some activities. But you just don't want it to be like a messy activity. You can get this, send it to your Cricut, cut out like stickers or shapes. And the kids can just pull it off of this paper, stick it and color it or whatever the case may be. The point is that you can use this, cut it out. It's perfect for kids. There's no mess, no glue, no nothing like that. The adhesive is already on the back of this. So that is why I love these. I love to cut out unicorns and princesses and stuff like that for my daughter. And then she just has a ball painting it or coloring it and then she can peel it off and stick it wherever she likes. So these are of my favorite materials. I will leave a link in the description box, like I said, of that link where you guys can search all of the different materials that go with the different machines. So I hope that this video helped you guys. In my next video, we will go into design space, hopefully. So I just wanted to do these videos to kind of educate you guys. I get a lot of comments all the time. I don't know which machine. I don't know which material. Um, people just don't know. So if I could provide a little bit of information to just one person, then I am happy. So thank you, Cricut, for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love to do Dollar Tree DIYs and anything on a budget. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love to have you a part of my crafty family. So with all that being said, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing and gorgeous. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.